Now, because the Earth and the Moon do not keep the same distance away from each other, when the eclipse happens in that situation, it's called an annual eclipse. My name's Karen Field. I'm Head of Science here at Hounslow Manor School. I've been here for about 25 years, and this is our Year 7 Science Day. Shall I throw it? Yeah, throw it. <laughs> if you get a red colour when you mix the reagents together with the samples, that indicates use of a steroid. It's just real life science rather than the comic book science that they expect it to be. We had to so use the one, urine sample, well, the fake urine sample, and add different chemicals to them so to check if the athletes were using well drugs. Well, we've got all of our Year 7s involved, so there are nine groups, and those nine groups are nine different companies. Build the tallest tower, like tallest thing made out of newspapers, and you've got like balances on top of it. How do you balance a building that is essentially quite high, but also it has a lot of weight? Yeah? So you need to think about those sorts of things when you're an engineer. The education and business partnership have been absolutely crucial to this thing. We wouldn't have been able to run it without them. Right, so each part of the model represents something. So what does the straw represent? When you breathe, it's going to show you how um, it looks if you're looking at the inside of the body. Our Year 7s are about to make their options next year as to what career they might want to do. And we wanted them to see science in the workplace, so what better way than to get some local business and industries to come in and show them how science is applicable in everyday life.